coach Alfie Reft, Lonnie Dodson, and Sheridan Leverett. Whenever you guys like to go, please ask your questions. Um, first of all, I wanted to ask, um, what were the main takeaways that you're taking taking from today's game and applying to your game against Washington? Um, that's pretty fast. Finding <laughs> takeaways from today, that's pretty quick. Um, I'll start with this. Uh, hats off to Michigan. You know, we knew this weekend was going to be uh, two really high-level matches. These teams, uh, Minnesota and Michigan, posed very different uh, challenges for us. And to be honest, I thought Michigan on film was uh, probably a more complete, systematic team. So hats off to them because I think they're a good team. Um, and proud of our ladies again for fight. Uh, we're talking a ton about how to finish off matches, and we're getting closer. You know, we're not quite there yet, and it never feels good. Uh, to certainly take an L in the column, but we've got to find some of the things that are good, and I think more importantly, we've got to figure out how to handle. Uh, they had a really wicked server on their team, probably one of the best in the country in terms of a top spin server, and this game's all about runs, so how can we extend our runs, and how can we stop what they're doing? But uh, we'll get back to the drawing board uh, to answer your question. We've got a few days to figure out a few things, and Onward we go. Um, my second question is for Sharon. Sharon, sure. tonight, when there were points when the team was down, you'd come in, you'd score a kill, you'd score a block, whatever it is. How do you act in moments of intense pressure? What is on your mind when you're playing, when you're trying to get that kill for your team? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I feel like we talk about in our gym all the time, just like showing up the same way every time and like taking space first and then the plays will follow instead of like waiting for a good play to happen before you take space. So I feel like just like having the mindset of knowing like what I'm going to do for the team and like, um, yeah, I feel like it's just all in like how I'm showing up and presenting myself um, as opposed to just like waiting until like some like a big play happens. Yeah. And my follow-up question would be for Hi. Hi. Um, what would you say uh, helps you in moments when you're down? To get tonight, we saw that you guys were down, but you come back up, you fight, you rally. So what helps you pull through in those matches? Yeah, I think we've kind of talked a lot about being big in the big moments and taking space, and we have fabulous coaches and training, and our scout is awesome. And so just kind of going back to that and focusing on what we need to do in the moment and just relying on my teammates because they do a great job of doing their job. Thanks. Coach, you, you were a defensive specialist when you played. Um, Peyton, she had 22 digs today. What makes her such an effective defensive player and what goes into um, e effectively being able to dig? Yeah, Peyton's put in a lot of work. Uh, I think that's a skill set that she's really um, spent a lot of time on to get better individually, but when you see defensive plays happening, a lot of it is it's a coordination between the block and the defense. So we have to give credit to our block. Uh, there's, it's a very uh, nuanced schematic like uh, equation we put together. And so when she's getting those good looks, it's in part because yes, she's in good positions, but also because our block is doing its job. And we had 15 blocks tonight to their six, you know? So we handled the net certainly. And I'm looking at our digs. 70 to their 70 pretty even, you know, so I thought our blocking defense was pretty exquisite tonight um, Got to find ways to score more points And then ladies after dropping the first set you guys really got things going in the second set what clicked for you all? I think it all just came down to like looking each other in the eye and just like taking a big reset like we talk a lot about like rep work and I feel like that first set, it was very fast. Um, so we just took a minute to like collect ourselves and like use our breath to like get our, just like activation level at a more five instead of a 10, I feel like. Um, and from there, we just acted like that was set one and we're just gonna go off from there. Yeah, I kind of echo what she's saying and we just spent a lot of time focusing on our process and like this point, this play, this touch. And so I think we really got back to that and we're able to execute what we do well. And you also had uh, some pretty good attacks as you approached the net. Um, when you're, um, 
when Audrey is setting the ball, what's going through your mind as you are approaching uh, approaching the net? Oh, good question. You know, she just puts me in really good situations, so it makes it super easy. So I feel really confident. Thanks for a great passing, fabulous set. So just being able to focus on what I see is really great. And then also, you know, forget the, the result of tonight. How do you guys utilize what you did well and, and you know, build from that moving forward? Yeah, I think um, I haven't like, I never want to like analyze a game too fast and too early, but I think that there were a lot of moments when we made a decision um, in regards to like how we were going to show up. Um, and at the end of the day, it just came down to our execution. So I think a good takeaway is just like showing up in the like tight moments um, and just like presenting ourselves to our teammates in a way that will just like better the body of the team. But at the end of the day, like you said, or like Coach said, it was just, it was just execution and just finding more ways to score. I agree. Coach, you said that you had a, um, Michigan had a more complete system of execution. Would what did you mean by that? <clears throat> that's, no, um, that's no knock on Minnesota. They're a good team. But when we look at balance and systems, there's a lot of pieces moving for them. They have, can attack through the middle of the court. They can attack out of the back court. And so uh, they can put pressure on us in a lot of ways. And so uh, on top of that, they pass the ball pretty dang well. I thought we served the ball well tonight. Uh, we served tough, uh, which is – a huge part of our game, but they handled the ball pretty well, and so they had a lot of options moving at us. And for us to have 15 blocks for as much as they were in system is uh, a credit to us, but uh, also a credit to them because it felt like we had they had three or two or three attackers coming at us kind of every play. So. Okay, thanks, yeah. Appreciate your time. Thank you for being here. Thank, Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Rob.